These videos are brought to you by Auto Lavish, serving Southeastern Michigan and Puerto Rico by appointment. Hi, this is Jacob from Auto Lavish. We're going to talk about the importance of washing your car properly. Washing the car is where you'll cause most of the swirls that the car will see over its lifetime. So proper washing will minimize the risk of additional swirling and it will keep your car looking great after you've detailed it. So we're going to talk about the two bucket method. First of all, you use two buckets. One for rinse water, one for soapy water. And see here, general, typical five bucket gallon. The most important part of the wash is this device. That's called the grit guard. It keeps any washing utensil above the sediment that drops to the bottom of the bucket. If any of the sediment falls onto your mitt and you wash a car with it, you're going to cause scratches. Place it at the bottom of the bucket and then fill it up. Here we already have a bucket filled with water. It's going to be our rinse water. We're using white buckets because you can see soil a lot better and you know when they need to be cleaned. Further, these buckets will only be used to wash the vehicle. They're not used for any other purposes around the house. No other cleaner is going to go into this bucket ever. So the principle of the two bucket method is to keep your wash water with the soap as clean as possible. You use a microfiber, this is a drill lock style wash mitt. It's brand new. You're gonna get it wet with your soapy solution first. Wipe the car with it. Once you're done wiping the car with it, you're gonna squeeze out the excess and you're gonna rinse it in the clean rinse water. Make sure you don't see any big particles of dirt on it. Once you're done with that, now you dip it back into your wash water. Now it goes to your paint. So now we're ready to wash. Make sure you have no rings, no watches. I put my watch up there. No belts, nothing that's gonna scratch because you will be leaning over the car and you will come in contact with the car. So be very careful with yourself. We're gonna follow the foam rinse wash rinse method and it works the following way grab your mitt on a dry car and you're going to try to wet it with the soap and the foam as much as you can i'm not letting the mitt touch the paint yet this is on this is going to help lift off the loose stuff float it off the vehicle Remember, anything that's on the paint, if you rub it, it will scratch the paint. Once that's done, we'll rinse it off with a strong jet of water. With this, we've just minimized about 80% of the risk of swirling up your paint. Now we're ready to wash. Use long, straight lines, no pressure at all. Just letting it glide over the paint. Why use straight lines? Because when you're finished and you're drying the car, if you notice long scratches in the same direction you washed, you know that it could be caused by your mitt, your washing utensils. Now we're ready to rinse off the, the mitt. I'm gonna squeeze it off. Throw it into my rinse water. Take a good look at it. Looks pretty good. Now foam it and continue with the wash. It's a good idea when you're washing the car, stop from the top, start from the top, work your way down and around. You can see I'm only going to a upper level of the fender. I would do the entire car at this level before going down. This way, the dirtier parts of the body 
won't contaminate the cleaner parts of the body. Now that we're rinsed, we can go ahead and dry it off. Clean microfiber drying towel. Very light pressure. Don't try to dry it up completely. You'll do about two passes of the drying towel to get it dry. A common mistake when drying a car is trying to dry it up too much. There's always going to be streaking left behind. Don't worry about it. Once you dry the car, we'll follow it up with a quick detailer to get it nice and glossy back again. So after your car is clean and dried, the final step to achieve the gloss is using a quick detailer. I'm using a plush microfiber towel. It's brand new. Always take the tags off. And a quick detailer. Spray lightly onto the surface. Little goes a long way. And then wipe. Always using straight lines, straight movements with very light pressure. So now the car is clean. Using proper technique, you will ensure the car continues to look as good as it did when it was first polished out. Well, I hope you find these tips useful and that they have helped you to understand how to take better care of your car. Last but not least, we'd like to thank Predator Performance for letting us use the facilities to shoot these videos for you.